Yo, as always, like, share, subscribe. Now let's just get into it. I want to thank Greg Saudi for the donations. I think Eric donated to the page. I appreciate it. Appreciate all the happy birthday wishes. And also, if you can, try to watch the whole video. Because a lot of the times, people go in the comments and they don't watch the whole video. They don't even see exactly what I'm talking about. And they go in the comments and they're saying something that I'm, I haven't even said. And it's, it don't even go with what the whole video was about. So try to watch the whole video, please. Now, Michigan beat Northern Illinois 63-10. And this was total domination, like from the beginning, pretty much. Michigan scored on like their first nine drives, I want to say, and they didn't. They didn't. Uh, they had a turnover on downs when this late in the fourth when they're up fifty. So this game was complete domination. Great to see. Great to see Cade hit on some deep throws. Uh, the running game looking good. Just. Complete game. Now, the only thing I could say, if I'm going to pick something, the defense on the first drive, they were giving up yards in the run. Besides that, this game was just a complete ass whooping. This one controlled. This was just domination. So, I love to see this because, like I was saying, this team, this team is, we're going to get back to Harbaugh's ball, which is running the ball. Cade making throws when he has to and getting his throws when he can, being a game manager, 11 throws, you're a game manager. And for the season, even in more games, um, more important games, you're not going to see him have a lot of passing attempts. If he – Harbaugh is going to want to have him at 25 at the most probably most of the time, 20 in there 30 at the most for real like he's he don't that's not what he does that's not what he likes to do so that being said this was just a great game for Michigan going in the Big Ten play with Rutgers next week to get everybody confident you got Cade back confident you if he wasn't I mean who knows but he looked shaky the game before but that's last week this week look looked good Hit a deep throw to Cornelius. He should have had two. One thing about receivers, and my my semi-pro coach taught me this. He played in the NFL a little bit. He, when a receiver looks and sees the ball might be out of reach, you don't continue to look. You lose speed. So what I would love to see Cornelius and these receivers do on those deep balls like that is look. Then you put your head down and continue running. You already know where the ball is, so you can keep that speed going to catch up. But if you just keep looking, you lose momentum, and that's what happens. The, the, they see the pass, and they, they're running like this, and you're losing momentum. But that's besides that, this was, this was a great game to see. Like, explosive plays all over. I love the way they're using the reverses in the running game. So everybody's just getting yards. We, we're going to run the ball and and do it in different ways. You got A.J. Henning getting reverses, getting big yardage. You got Corum on reverses, getting big yardage. You're getting big yardage on reg regular handoffs. So all that's looking good. I like to see the double moves. R reminds me of Mario Manningham against Notre Dame hitting those, those out and ups. See ya. I like to see that. I like to see that, but defense flying around, doing what they have to do, bending, not breaking, and everybody just getting consistent in what they, the, the coaching staff wants to do. So this video ain't, oh, yo, won't be long because this was just a complete game. Blake Corum, hey, get, get him the Heisman if you can. He, this dude is a beast and his explosiveness, his vision, get him up there. It's only going to help in recruiting. So get it, feed him, get, try to get him in the Heisman hopefuls and everything. He's getting the yardage. He's, he had 125, three TDs today. So 
We get in the Big Ten play, just keep feeding this dude, get him in the end zone, you know, and as, as, as long as he's doing what he does, we're going we gonna, we gonna to have something. Now, Cade, what Cade had, 8 of 11 for like 190, hit on some throws, hit Eric all. Cornelius had 100 yards. I like how they were feeding these dudes, letting them, letting them get, the, get, get, get the ball to your playmakers. Cornelius is hot. He's feeling it. Get it to him. Get him that 100 yards. Get Blake that 100 yards. Get, let him get in the end zone. Let these dudes accomplish goals and see, get these dudes All-Americans and Heisman hopeful. All that stuff helps him recruiting, and they deserve it. You know what I mean? So I like to see that. J.J. got in. He didn't do much, but uh, Donovan Edwards got in late, uh, took one, what, 50 or something like that. Looked explosive. I like I like that. So these boys just came out there and they did what they have to do. It's one thing to play a to play a team with less talent, but you don't want to play down to the talent. I don't care who it is. Oh, it's just Northern Illinois. Okay, it's just Northern Illinois. So we're gonna drop almost seventy on them. That's what y'all expect us to do. So let's do it. So that's that's the thing. So you people can say, oh, it's just this and now it's just that. No, it's just we Michigan and we feeling ourselves and we finna run them over and let that carry over for the rest of the season and, and into the next game and game and game and so on. So I like to see the dominance. It don't matter who you playing. I think Aiden got a sack on defense. Aiden's – one thing about Aiden that I love is his motor. He's just – if he – Misses the quarterback, he's not, he's not, oh, I missed him. No, he's still chasing him. Where you going? Get back here. You ain't going nowhere. That's what I love to see, effort. Just because you miss, and this is what problem I used to have with Rashawn Gary a lot of the time. He might miss a tap, miss the running quarterback, and then he ain't chasing him down. If Aiden misses him and goes around the edge and he steps up, he don't care. He coming right back after him. He's His motor is non-stop like I'm getting you and I love to see that that hustle play now besides that on the edge I saw uh, a, a couple plays with eye discipline I'm not sure what his name is but uh he's number 32 but eye discipline on the read and misdirections and things like that but stuff like that with new starters you can slowly coach that out of them and you know to watch Keep your eye disciplined. But besides that, y'all, this was just a straight dominance. And this is what and this is why I in the last video I was like, I understand what Harbaugh's doing because it's Jim Harbaugh. He is a coach. His game is running the ball. Let the quarterback make throws here and there. Not too many, because we don't want interceptions. We don't want mistakes. But run the ball, kill the clock, kill their defense. Keep our defense rested in ball game. So somebody was saying, are you concerned? You were concerned about the passing game. I'm, and that's why I say watch the whole video because in my last video I said, this is what we were going to do. And what did we do? We were running the ball. Cade is going to game manage. And we, that's the way we're going to win. That's the way Jim Harbaugh coaches at his best. So if he's here, that's our best bet to be successful for the season. His best years were teams that were doing what we're doing right now. So that's that's what I was saying. That's that's just who he is. So that's all I got for this one, y'all. We got Rutgers next. I'll make probably make that video tomorrow or Monday. I'm gonna enjoy my birthday with my girl, and I appreciate all the wishes. Happy birthday wishes and everything. We're going to enjoy this one. That's why I got the palm tree. We sipping, we sipping pina coladas today. Let's enjoy it. And we get ready for Big Ten play next week. Like, share, subscribe. And as always, go blue.